Black Bitch Act, and I didn't expect some of the things, and I didn't understand some mm. of the things at first, you know? Yeah. What about you? Yeah, well, I, when I read the first scene, the first scene, I was like, <laughs> What the fuck? <ride> Oddio! Oh, mi è piaciuto molto, mi è piaciuto molto. E la, la prima scena, the first scene, is, uh, is a scene that Daryl, Daryl portrays. And it's incredible. The beauty of the words and all the concept that they're putting there that at the beginning you, you don't really know what it's about, but you start to know about it. So, but that first scene, I could see a bit of Matrix, I could see, a, like, I could see incredible things by them, like different concepts, but with that taste. So I'm a big fan of Matrix, and when I saw that, I, I thought like, wow, they are, like, I'm gonna be auditioning for this, because Darrell, they call Darrell straight and say, Darrell, we want you, please do this and say it. But in my case, I did four auditions. So four, 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 Daryl, four. <laughs> <laughs> but it was incredible when I when I read that that scene, that yeah. beautiful scene. Yeah. Well, um, it was there was the two things. One, I realized when I saw it that they were setting a very cinematic tone with the scene. Like it, all of a sudden you realize this is not a TV show. This is a big, this is, uh, it's, it, the look of it, the feel of it, the intensity of it, the, it puts you right in the, you know, the middle of the story and, it, and it's so big and expansive. And, um, but it, as, far, as far as my process, it was very difficult because I, it was one of my first days working on the show and I'm always very nervous at the beginning and I didn't know very much about my character or understand really about the clusters yet or uh, there was a lot that I didn't know. So the only way for me to do it was to be uh, as distraught as the character the entire time. Like, I didn't take any breaks. I never think I'd, I didn't even leave the mattress. I just stayed there the whole day and just, like, stayed in that state of mind, which was, um, even though I've been in many movies where I've done stunts and been thrown through walls and broken my back and all other kinds of injuries and Blade Runner and Kill Bill and all these things, uh, I think I was more in pain after that scene because of just the physical, uh, you know, the shaking, the isometrics of the shivering and the emotional state. It was, I, I could hardly move. The next day I was so sore, my whole body hurt. I could, I, I, I was in such, pain because it was so in it was so intense but i think you know you, it has to be that intense for that for yeah that i remember that lana lana told me about that scene mm -hmm. the day after and she told me like well because you can see it's a scene that it lasts like yeah, it's ten, five minutes yeah, or six or minutes something. but uh she was uh, lana told me well she was trembling for nine hours yeah and i had everybody like it's a very intense uh, scene, but what it looks like four minutes, like this lady was trembling for eight hours, so I guess next day, yeah, you were exhausted. Yes, yeah. Do you have something Me, like I in would, your mind? Yeah, because, I would, uh, I would, I would do anything to protect the things that I love. Uh, I think that's probably why I end up in jail a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So I think with my character, um, the, need, the need of love. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Nice to meet you.